As we live our lives on a day-to-day -day basis, we often forget about the multitude of ecosystems that surround us. Just as we are part of an ecosystem, so are all organisms on Earth. However, there are some species that intrude on foreign habitats. These species disrupt ecosystems and cause chaos and disorder. This is called an invasive species. An invasive species is any species that spreads widely after it is established and usually causes harm to a natural part of the ecosystem. An invasive species moves through stages of biological invasion. First, it arrives in its new habitat. Next, it establishes its dominance in that habitat and begins to disrupt the natural food chain and ecosystem order. This allows it to reproduce and spread. Then, the invasive species begins to displace natives. Finally, it will dominate the ecosystem. Invasive species also cost the U.S. millions of dollars every year in prevention efforts. This is the Asian shore crab, formerly known as Hemagrapsis sanguineus, an invasive species that directly affects the New England region. Part of the crab's success as an invasive species can be attributed to the plasticity of its diet. The Asian shore crab has been found to eat different food depending on its location, allowing it to be better suited for multiple environments and helping it easily adapt to new environments. The Asian shore crab also has the ability to reproduce quickly and effectively. Their breeding season spans the course of five months and females can spawn up to 200,000 eggs during this season. Furthermore, Asian shore crabs tend to have aggressive and competitive behaviors when searching for food. This allows them to outcompete native species for food and sustain their rapidly growing population. The Asian shore crab is able to consume a variety of invertebrates, algaes, and other native species across all seasons, which allows it to compete so well with other native crab species. Although the Asian shore crab is native to the western shore of the Pacific Ocean, it has become well established on the east coast of the United States over the course of the last 25 years. Hypotheses speculate that the crab's larvae were brought over through ship ballast water. Many big ships take in ballast water when traveling to weigh the ship down before expelling the water in a different area. This causes new species to be introduced to new habitats and ecosystems. Since the crab has invaded the coastlines of the United States, it has become most prevalent within the New England region from the shores of Rhode Island and Massachusetts, all up through the middle of Maine. Invasive species are outcompeting many of the native species. With no competitors and an almost unlimited supply of food, they are very successful in their new environment. Some native species evolve as a result of the new crab presence. An example of this is the mussel, which hardens its shell when it senses a predator. However, many organisms cannot evolve quick enough to the crabs and are therefore dwindling in numbers. The Asian shore crab is not only decimating its prey species, it is also affecting the population of other predator species. The green crab is not native to New England, but has lived in the area for roughly 200 years and has been greatly impacted by the introduction of the Asian shore crab. A 2015 study used quadrop sampling to track population density levels of the Asian shore crab and three other native invertebrate species that share the same habitat. The research found that the population density of the Asian shore crab increased over time, while the densities of the blue mussel and green crab both declined. Invasive species removal is an extremely difficult undertaking. Physical removal is seen as the best option for removing Asian shore crabs so far. Some conservationists have pointed to its consumption as a possible solution. Restaurants like Mia's in New Haven, Connecticut, have started serving Asian shore crab dishes in hopes of creating a market that will help eliminate this invasive from the New England coast. Fortunately, there are many laws, regulations, and organizations in place that strive to limit the spread of invasive species around the world. In order to prevent the spread of aquatic invasives like the Asian shore crab, the National Invasive Species Act contains regulations on ballast water that require it to be released certain distances offshore and decontaminated. However, the Asian shore crab still needs to be controlled. It not only affects native species in the New England region, but it affects the people and environment as well.